Hi everyone, it's me Moonlight Guidance. I hope you are well. If not, I really hope I can help you. This is a reading uh, for you. So um, if this resonates with you at any point, please do let me know in the comment section below, but also do like and subscribe uh, to the channel, um, the reading, you know, to like it. And uh, it's a very safe space where you're always very welcome. And if you're here, I feel like there are signs that there are messages that you are meant to hear. So this reading is actually quite going to be quite a specific one, mainly about your spouse. Okay, we're going to really look at sort of everything um, in terms of like the future um, and more about this person and things like that. So I'm going to do an overall big spread. We're going to do a charm reading because I'm really into those these days. So you're going to get it as a bonus, you know. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look and see. It's a really nice energy, okay? It's a really nice energy. This person is very honest and loyal and got two cards that really represent that energy. This person is, first and foremost, they're so intelligent, okay? Um, whether they have studied or not, this person is really, really intelligent. They are, you know, they like to research things. They like to look at things. They like to look at things from all angles, not just one person's perspective. They like to have all of their information together. And I really feel here that this is someone that is very, very clever and very, very smart. And they always try to find the best solutions to problems. They try to look at things from a very practical perspective. Yes, this person is, you know, emotional, but they are very, very practical. They don't let their emotions completely rule over them. And this person is very, very understanding when it comes to multiple sort of aspects of life. And so I feel like that's something that you would really appreciate. This person is so honest. Okay, so honest, so loyal. This is not a person that's going to be unfaithful towards you. They are like locked in, okay? Like when they have a partner, they believe in mon monogamy. They believe in a relationship. They be believe in sort of cherishing the other person, loving the other person, being there for the other person and truly just making things work. This is someone that is loving and loves and loves fiercely. This really is someone that is like someone you would be like, wow, they are my ride or die. They're my person. And they would feel the same way towards you as well. This is not someone that you're thinking like, oh, they're looking at that person over there or they're talking to that person a lot or they're speaking to this person a heck of a lot and do they care about me? Because this is someone that knows they want you and they will want you, okay? This is, there's no like sneaky behavior in regards to this. They're also very good in their work environment. They're very well respected in their work environment. I would say that people are a little bit sometimes scared of them in their work environment, not in a terrible way, but sort of like a, I need to get my work done. I need to be proper uh, when presenting to them. They have a very good job. They have a job that's a little bit more higher up where they do have other people that sort of work, I don't want to say like underneath them, but uh, it's the hierarchy of the work environment where they're like, they're a little bit higher up in terms of their position of work. I don't want to be like, oh, like they have loads of people that work for them. and But it's like, they have a higher position in their work environment is what I'm trying to say. And so, um, you know, people oftentimes think like, I need to be at this person's level. I need to, you know, I need to like impress them. So they give out that kind of energy that in a way sort of straightens people out and makes sure that all those people do their work correctly, which is actually a good thing because they're not a pushover where they're like, yeah, no, tomorrow you can just get this done. They're like, well, it needed to be done today. And then the person's like, yep, I did it today. <laughs> so I feel like that's actually a really good quality that they have, which has allowed them to be so successful in their work environment. And they're very, the other thing here is that not only are people, you know, kind of scared of them in that sense, like I don't mean like scared of them in that sense, people are just scared if they don't get their work done on time that they will kind of get reprimanded or something. But they're very well respected in their work environment. People want to genuinely impress this person because of further work opportunities that they could give to others. So that's the kind of status that your person has in terms of work, which is not a bad thing at all. Like, I wouldn't say that that's a bad thing. I think it's actually a very respectable place to be. This is not a toxic boss or a toxic work environment. This is, you know, a person that has expectations from the people that work with them, basically. Okay, so that's what I want to say is that there's an expectation that this person has when it comes to the work environment and everybody else understands that, you know, and, and knows that, okay, if I don't do it on time, you know, it's not good. It's that. It's not like, you know, they're the verbally abusive or anything. And I just really want to mention this 
Then we've got here the Three of Cups. They have amazing friends, really kind, very caring, genuine friends. And these are the kinds of friends that would also become your friends. There's just a lot of love, a lot of understanding. You know, their friends are their ride or die as well in the sense that they've got their back, they've got their friends back. Um, and these will become your friends as well from what I see. The Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles shows this person is a saver. They love to save money. They're very good at saving money. They're very good at growing their money with investments and things. This person does not have a financial problem at all, okay? They really don't. They are able to have things on a rainy day. If the rain happened and they had a rainy day, they will be financially okay. They are very stable. They're very okay in that sense. And that's what I see, is that they're, they're okay financially and they're very comfortable in their finances and they would want to share everything with you. And also with the um, Four of Swords, they bring peace to the circumstances, not problems, but peace. They bring joy, they bring happiness, they bring optimism, they bring, they're, they're so at peace within themselves that they bring peace to the relationship. They will ne never let you go to bed upset. They will always try to resolve things. They will feel sad if you feel sad. That is the optimum, that is the utmost amount of love that you can get from a person you know the absolute optimal amount of love from a person when they are sad because you are sad they want to resolve things with you because it, they know how much it bothers you is it it's like the utmost amount of love i keep trying to say like the most absolute i keep trying to say something but i don't know what it is but you know what i mean like it's the peak of love and Eight of Wands, they're always, you know, trying to do things in terms of communicating, making things right, um, inviting you places, doing things. This is your future spouse, okay? This is someone who thinks about things, but also does things. The actions, the words, the intentions, the emotions, it all aligns. The heart and the mind, it all aligns. And when it all aligns, that is the golden ratio, because when things don't align, that's where things happen problematically you know a person could feel love but then they don't express it or they suppress it or <sighs> they feel it but they don't actually do it you know so the great thing with this person is that they feel it they do it they bring peace they bring love they bring stability they are respected they have good friends because you know what they say show me your friends and i'll show you who you are and they have great friends friends that are just as stable hard working caring understanding respectful really it's a beautiful beautiful energy so we're going to have a look at the charm reading. So let's have a look and see. Oh, look at this. We have a footprint. So there's a sense here of leaving a legacy with this person. This person wants a legacy. They want a family. It's something that I see here. Um, so I'm just saying this. They, they want to continue on the family, the lineage, the tree, they, they want that to happen. We've got here um, owl, so they're very wise, they're very intelligent. I did tell you that from the very beginning. I also mentioned this to you, they're very, very loyal. We have a dog bone, okay? So it represents here loyalty. It may be that they also have a dog, but this also represents mainly loyalty. We have here two hearts, so they will feel so much love and connection towards you. They will love you for who you are. They will feel very connected to you. Um, we've also got here as well, hello. Now this was actually supposed to say hello, but I think the H broke off. So it still means hello. And basically, um, that means here that, you know, they can make the first move towards you or they are just really great at communicating. And you will find that when you speak to them on the phone, they will say hello first. It's, I know that that sounds so vague to say, but some people do say other things like yo or hi or hey or the person's name, you know, but they'll say hello. And we have here a bird so you'll feel like you are truly flying with this person it will feel like you're swept off your feet this person is emotionally very available and very kind we also have this leaf here which kind of reminds me of a banana leaf now you know traditionally as well like when it comes to certain cuisines and foods it's served on banana leaf i don't know if that means something let me know if that means something but also it just represents here um, a sense of it like the fruits of your labor, basically, and the situation coming together in a way that just gives so much joy and so much happiness that the relationship serves so many purposes. This person is your friend, but also your partner. This person is your lover, but also your greatest protector and supporter. It serves so many 
aspects. So this is your reading. Now, if this reading resonates, comment down below. This is my future spouse, okay? Comment down below the affirmation. This is my future spouse. Don't forget to like the reading by clicking the thumbs up and also clicking subscribe. Also, um, check out the description box below for information on personal services. I offer personal readings to do tarot readings. I also offer personal rituals like the marriage ritual, love ritual, money ritual. There's rituals for healing, black magic removal, protection, etc. And there's also intention items as well for love, money, marriage, career, you know, but there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, candles, sage bundles, teas, embroidered cards, etc. Everything's down below. Thousands of five-star reviews. Shopmoonlightguidance.com. I also have TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every day. Moonlight.guidance on Instagram. Moonlight Guidance on TikTok. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.